The flu. You know you have it, but what is it? Here's a day-by-day -day on how the flu virus invades your body. Day 1. The virus infiltrates your nose and mouth via airborne infectious droplets. Either you inhale droplets that were coughed or sneezed by someone sick, or you handle the surface covered in the virus before touching your eyes, nose or mouth. Grossed out yet? We're just getting started. Days 2 through 4. The virus penetrates cells in your throat and lungs and turns them into factories that replicate the virus. You're infected and contagious, but probably don't even know it yet. Day 5. Symptoms strike. Fever, shivers, muscle aches, runny nose, sore throat, and cough. A prescription could shorten the illness if you take it within 48 hours of the first symptoms, but you don't get to the doctor in time. Instead, you shuffle to the drugstore and find that over-the-counter remedies are just no match for this bug. Welcome to misery. Days 6 through 9. Your doctor says drink lots of fluids, get plenty of rest, and eat fruits and veggies to boost your immune system. Take a break from the gym, working out would raise your body temperature, and skip the coffee or alcohol, which cause dehydration. Days 10 through 14. At last, your immune system begins to produce the antibodies needed to zap this nasty virus. You start to feel like, hey, I can go back to work or school, but be warned, the flu has left its mark. Fatigue persists for days or weeks. It's been two weeks of sniffy hell, but what didn't kill you made you stronger. So celebrate. You are now immune to the virus you just defeated. However, when it comes to all the other flu strains out there, you are still a sitting duck.